good morning guys welcome to today today is sunday it is a day of rest for god for the world for my children i told gabby today i'm sophie you can just take the whole day off just relax and rest and do your I own thing i would be able to do that anyways but there is no rest for the wicked are you wicked sam i'm the wicked he i'm the wicked. wicked you are not getting any rest then either oh let me come home but i'm yeah so today at sam and i have a bunch of shopping we have to do and like just stuff that we weren't able to do yesterday while we were at the show um we moved into our locker yesterday so we need to get that organized but anyways welcome to today's video gabby chose to stay home and stay in her pajamas and stay on her phone all day you guys know i've said this before we live a really active life i'm a workaholic i like to be up doing stuff moving all the time and i don't want my kids to grow up with that i want them even though most parents are like get up get out of bed get moving my kids work a lot they're busy all the time and i, I want them so today i told the girls they can do whatever they want they star horses have the day off after a show so they're resting and relaxing and i tell my kids just relax and do whatever you want sometimes you need a day to just stay in bed and do your own thing they also have puppies to take care of Sophie, tell me, tell them. She's really good in the cage. How are the puppy, how is your puppy doing? She's doing really good. Is she uh, becoming more wild? Um, a little bit, but then I get her in trouble for not, but not that bad for stuff she's not allowed to do. Then she's like, okay, sorry mom. And then she gets too energetic after. Yeah, what are we and most afraid of for this puppy? Uh, running onto the ground. Yeah, she's a runner, right? She loves her crate, is awesome in her crate. She is so quiet, she is such a quiet puppy. She is a runner though, I call her a runner. Basically, she will do what she wants, when she wants, and that is it. Like, even if I'm outside with her and I have a treat, I've been training her to come when I call her, if she sees a treat and she wants a treat, she runs over to me and sits and is perfect. But if she's interested in something else, then she's like, I don't care about you. I don't care about your treat. And she just goes where she wants to go, which is part she's of a Dalmatian to thing. A she needs to get a leash and put a leash on her and keep it on her all the time so we can catch her better because she's starting to get faster. And with the road there, we're worried about her. So she, whereas Molly, you say, you even act like you're about to say Molly's name and she is at your feet. Like there's nothing more interested in the world to Molly than her people. Speaking of Molly, our big dogs are going through a really hard time with the addition of the puppy. Like I am shook actually how long this is taking for them to get over. We can't just put the puppy with them and say, here you go, get over it because they're really rough with her, especially Molly, not on purpose. But Molly and Daisy were playing tug war last night. Yeah, like they do play. And then Molly got mad because Daisy kept stealing her yeah and molly like molly loves the puppy molly plays with the puppy more than ruby but she doesn't know her own strength yet like she paws that puppy down to the ground and then the puppy's like flat like a pancake like we always have to do supervised visitation with them um molly was nuts yesterday i've never seen her i think she's coming into puberty holy heck people say border collies are crazy well yesterday she was crazy i was sitting on the ground outside throwing the ball for the dogs and she just came flying at me and I thought okay well she's gonna stop when she gets to me flew right into my face knocked me backwards like she was she was in the crate most of yesterday because we were at the show which is I'm sure contributed to it but she's never acted like this before so we're working on that like today is gonna be a day of rest but it's also gonna be a day of training and stuff with our dogs like I'm teaching my puppy how to spin yeah your puppy's doing great what if you don't know how to teach them to spin, you say spin and bring a tree around them and just like make them follow it when you say spin and then they'll learn eventually. So for right now, we are headed into town. So much to share with you guys and uh, let's get on with it. So some of you guys know that Dalmatians need a special care. Like they're a hard breed to have because they can't eat just any kind of pet food. Okay, so we are at Global Pet Foods. We're at Sophie here. I'm getting a toy And we are gonna investigate and see what we can find for our little Dalmatian. So this, is a, so this is a dream store. Look at all the toys. Like there's, like look at that frog is adorable. The, the chicken. All the toys. Oh my You know what I want? I want the, the gun that you shoot the balls out of. Oh, this is a fetch stick. That's cool. Molly wouldn't destroy these. Oh, feel that. That feels neat. 
so our dogs destroy these, but they love them the best. That's adorable. These are good for Daisy. Yeah, good for Daisy. Super cute. All right, let's see what they have. Oh my God, that's awesome. How much is it? That is awesome. That's perfect for Molly. And they have cat toys. Oh my God, my dog Super would love cute. That. Your dog would love that for another couple weeks because she's been. All right, so I know that Hills Science Diet has a food for urinary. I think we're in the cat section. This is hairball. The dogs do not have hairballs. Look at they have sweet potato, apple, and oatmeal. Lots of stuff. Oatmeal's really yellow. So can she have liver? I no. Think. All right, I'm gonna ask He's what they cat. have. They have what? Peas in them. Peas in them. Pumpkin peas and berries. Peas in them again. Yeah, she can't have peas. Sweet potato flavor. So that. So it has potatoes. And whatever it is. They got yellow. They have a leash and they have a halter. You mean a harness? Harness, sorry. Oh my god, I want the harness. Yeah, like that'll fit her soon. You need a small one. Look and see if that one behind it's smaller. That's a really cute one. That one looks smaller. Sophie's still looking at treats. She's like, it has oats and rice. Can she have rice? She can have rice. And I think the oats are on, a, on the yellow list. You gotta look it up. I think this would be so cool for a Ruby or for Molly. A little carry thing. Alright, so Sophie wants to get a toy. Hi. She doesn't, she's not a chaser. Like, she doesn't chase, get her this. she doesn't chase balls and stuff. <laughs> Those are like heavy duty. I don't think they'll rip as much. Or this. Why don't you get her a tiny one? Because they're cheaper and they're small for her. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Or, Molly would like this. Yeah, Molly would like everything. Molly loves toys. Molly is the first. Molly is an awesome first dog. All right, so this is what we are getting now. We're getting this because when it gets like yucky weather outside, our dogs always get dirty feet. You put warm water in it and then you stick their paws in it, it cleans them off. It's supposed to be really good. Um, I want to get this. We're getting this yellow leash because we can leave it on her and she can drag it around. It's nice and thin and small for her and then we're getting her this little orange halter. It's the only one that will fit I want to get this. No, I don't think that's a good idea. It's like you find good treats for her. No, we need to go to another food store and find good treats for she her. Oh, so we went into like a specialized store and they didn't know anything about Dalmatians. It's amazing how many people don't know about the dietary needs of Dalmatians. The last pet store we went to, she was like, that's just hogwash. But it actually isn't. Like they absolutely cannot process purines although some of them can like it's like the same with the being blind like it depends on which genes they have and you can actually get them tested to see if they have dietary restrictions it's hard to do that here because we'd have to travel really far and if, I think it'd be worth it though I'm gonna ask our vet about if she can do the blood test and then send it someplace to get her tested because if we didn't have to worry about the restrictions anyways she thinks we should go raw i need to look into that i don't know there's one food there that somebody had sent me a link to it was dehydrated though it just was flakes and i don't know how dehydrated food works like i'm assuming you put water on it which is good because dalmatians have to drink a lot of water like for her life we'll water her food all the time to increase her water intake she drinks really well though we got dog treats that are chewy. Yeah, we actually did find some dog treats. Sophie found them. She's going to be an awesome dog owner. Like, it's I want to say, she's been amazing. She has never ever in her life gotten her butt out of bed early in the morning. She always lays in bed and goes on her phone, but she's up. But she's up before everybody else with her puppy outside, all by herself. So she ended up getting these chicken, 100% natural chicken treats. I think she'll really like them. And then she got the leash. Hey. They're soft and chewy. Yeah. So uh, now we're going to the next store. We got a letter today from a girl named Lexi. She's 13. And she said, hey, I have a couple of questions. Do you know Avril Lavigne? She's apparently from Belleville, Ontario. And yeah, heck, I know Avril Lavigne. Uh, yeah, she's from Napanee, close to us. I love Avril Lavigne. In fact, 
not only do I know her, but her uncle has a cottage near my old cottage and I worked and am friends with her aunt. So yeah, I do know her. She's an amazing singer. I love her. I love her music. I loved her and supported her a lot when she was big. Anyway, she sent us a letter and she has sent us pictures of our horses, Gracie and Willow, Stella. Like I love pictures like this. I wish we had a place to display these. These are gorgeous. Thank you so much, Lexi, for your letter and for your pictures. We got another letter from a lady named Lisa and she sent us a bunch of really fun things like how to make a pie in a mason jar and then she sent us all these inspirational quotes which I love because I like to hang these things up and be able to look at them and have inspiration all the time like there's this one and it says it isn't what you have or who you are or where you are wait it isn't what you have or who you are or where you are or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy it is what you think about it mind over matter like that's so true I like to hang these things up thanks Lisa I haven't finished her letter completely yet but I did read this and it said I just I was just looking through it and I found this thing about Soapy and it drew me to it it said Soapy sends thin mixed signals all the time like go stop go fast not that fast and so she says to Soapy forget about being brave focus instead on trust Trust Finn, he loves you. He is very much he very much wants to obey you. Trust your trainers, they want you to succeed. When you look good, they look good. They would never ask you to do things you're not capable of. And most importantly, trust yourself. You are bright, happy, full of potential, and with a golden heart as big as Canada. Like, I'm gonna read this. Like, so nice. It's not so nice. I believe exactly that. Do you believe her, Sophie? You gotta get out of your head and not worry about you. Worry about trusting Finn. Do you believe it? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks Lisa for your letter and all your inspirational things. I'm gonna take it home and read it and I'm sure I'm gonna love it as much as I love that part about Sophie. Okay, so we're going to another baby shower. So we're here to get a present. We're here to get some books, some book presents. Super soft. So I, I am a book freak and I have favorite books. We don't know what the baby is, but I think it's gonna be a boy. And I love this one, Little Blue Truck. Um, and Little Blue Truck is one of my favorite baby books and and I love this one which is the brown bear brown bear what do you see these are two of my favorite baby books if I thought it was gonna be a girl I'd get that one of course are you regretting buying $59, all the $59 I can get it oh my gosh I can get it so if you found so it's $60 I'm gonna get it. so if you found the pet hospital then I won't spend anything else. Okay? I don't know. Uh, Cause how would I buy it for your birthday? I mean, you got a puppy for your birthday. What does Domish <laughs> do? So that's a sign. I don't know, it just feels weird for you to buy yourself toys. Literally, they have all the Harry Potter stuff at Chapters. Gabby would be in heaven. Oh, I know that thing. Snitch. I know. Golden Snitch. Golden Snitch. Get her. All right, honestly, so Sophie got the Schleich set. Look at this Dalmatian puppy. Like, isn't that a sign? Like, it's the cute, it totally reminds me of her. She's always sitting in front of you, giving you her paw so she can get a treat. That's adorable. If it was liver and white, it would be even better. All right, so uh, we're at this section, and look at that I pink with that diamonds. One. Sophie's, these are so much cuter than the one I got for Gabby. This Blue one one's cute. Diamond. Yeah. This one's cute too. These all different shapes in here. Um, she What's wanted that? gold. There's gold, like yellow. That's yellow. That's so cute. This actually. is yellow. Yeah, but this is yellow too. Look, it's like a gold yellow. It's really cute. Okay, she's going with the pink and silver and diamonds. Did I see it? She made her own little tag for Daisy. It's gonna say Daisy and then call Sophie on the back with her phone number. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna get Gabby one of these. Now it's gonna, I know, but her stuff thinned up. The one at the store has little protective stuff you put over top of it so that it doesn't get scratched. Very excited? I'm excited too. I told Sophie we'd go shopping after, like on her birthday in three weeks. 
and buy her everything she wants for her puppy. But what's happening? Yeah, but what's happening here? Are you buying everything we want for your dog today? Not like, everything, because she needs a costume. She needs a costume. And she needs a bunch of toys. Do you want help? No, good. Your spotted shirt, reverse spots, white spots on black and then brown spots on white. Ruby's cuddling up over there on the bed. It's not reversed. Let me adjust it. I can't believe she's that big that we got some, went so small. It's true our house is a gong show now with three dogs. <laughs> she doesn't even care about it. Yeah, so she got her very first harness. My house is worse. Molly. And it's good because it doesn't choke them if you pull back on them. Yep, it's perfect for her. That's where Molly has. Yeah, Molly has a bigger harness, a more padded harness. That's just her baby beginner harness. So and she, she got a new leash. All right, so we bought Molly some boots today. You guys are going to get to see her walk. First time ever in boots. Hey, those are mine. Let's go. Oh, no, Molly. She pulled one off. Watch out, Ruby. Come on. Come on. Oh, she's getting used to them really fast. Come here. This is, uh-oh, Molly, Molly, don't chew it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Molly, come here. Come here. So, um, Ruby actually ended up getting injured today. She, we've never had it, she's never had an injury. I don't know if you guys can see, but her back foot, she just has a scratch on it, like a little rub. Her skin is a little tiny bit raw on, on her paw. She must have scratched it on the cement or on the rocks or somewhere. She just has a little scratch and she's really favoring it. So we cleaned it up, put some cream on it and we're going to make her rest for a little bit until it heals another layer of skin on it and then she'll be good as gold. Got hurt, didn't you? Yeah. And if anybody's wondering what happened to Toby, nothing happened to Toby. He's in the dining room. I'll see if he'll come. He doesn't usually come when we call him. Toby! Toby! Come on, Toby! Toby! Toby's dummy's never been trained. Yeah, he, he has been trained. He just has got so much anxiety and so much fear. He doesn't just come running. I found him. There's Toby, you guys, peeing on Sam's shoe. Peeing on my shoe. Toby, don't pee on camera. Don't you know that you're beautiful?